In this video you will learn how to change the RAM modules in the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro laptop. Please note that I am not a certified Lenovo technician and that by following the instructions in this video, your warranty may become void depending on your state's rules and regulations. Please proceed with extreme caution to not harm yourself or your laptop. As the first step, make sure that you have disconnected every cable from your laptop. After that, turn it off properly. Now you can turn your laptop upside down on a flat surface. Locate all the screws as shown on the screen and unscrew them. Make sure to put away your screws to a safe place, you don't want to lose them. Before you proceed to remove the lower case, discharge your static electricity by touching a grounded conductor, for example a heater, as I did, or a lightning rod. Make sure you are not electrically charged, especially when handling the components inside. You can use some tools to help you safely pry up the latches of the lower case. I used a small plastic spatula. Try not to use tools from metal as they might damage the cover or latches or the insides more easily. Be patient and careful. It takes some time but you can do it for sure. Once you remove the lower case, you'll realize that this laptop is also wearing underwear. If you would like to add an additional SSD drive, just as I did, there's a free slot over here. It should be safe enough now to change any components. Although, if you want to be 100% sure, you can disconnect the battery. Just make sure that you connect it back once you are finished with the RAM exchange. Oh, and feel free to consult the original hardware maintenance manual that can be found on the official support page of your laptop. Um, mine is in the description. When your laptop is already open, you can take this chance and clean your fans. You can use little ear picks for it uh, initially and then you can just blow out the dust. As the next step, you should remove the memory module shielding. It comes up a little hard though. Underneath, we can see the stock memory modules. There are two buckles to the side of each module. Just pull them outwards a bit and the memory will pop upwards. Pull it out. Repeat for the other module. get one of your fancy new RAM modules. Try not to smudge the pins with your fingers cause grease and dirt and stuff. It does not matter which module you put into which slot. On the other hand, the orientation is very important. I repeat, very important. 
If you noticed on the RAM modules, there are two groups of pins, and one of them is wider than the other. So make sure you rotate your RAM correctly when you insert it into a slot. You shouldn't need force to insert the modules. It should go smoothly. Once inserted, just push it down slightly and connect the buckles. Repeat the same for the other module, of course. Great! You are almost finished! Let's put back the memory shielding. There is a little arrow on the memory shielding. It should point upwards. The shielding's frame should sit in the middle of these little metal embraces. It's a little harder to push down the shielding, so you can use a bit of force. And don't forget to reconnect your battery if you disconnect it. Mount back the lower case, but do not screw it in yet. First, we have to make sure that the memory modules are installed correctly. Turn around your laptop and turn it on. You can keep pressing F2 to load into BIOS. I smashed many buttons because I wasn't sure which one is for the BIOS. Once the BIOS is loaded, you can be sure the memory modules are installed correctly. Alternatively, you can just load the Windows normally to check. Once you confirm that your laptop boots up, turn it off again to finish the assembly. If you would like to see how much new RAM can improve performance and how you should choose your RAM, watch my other video. That's all, good luck guys!